Hi you guys, it's Lisa. I'm going to do an art journal page and I'm just going to do a voiceover so it's going to be a quick one, I hope. And here's my thoughts. I'm going to do a black and white background, some trees, a moon, and some stars. And we're going to work in this book. This is a in and out um, art journal book by Grumbacher and I'll list it below. Super nice because you can take your pages out and work on them. So this is the one I'm going to work on and I'm thinking I'm going to put this tissue paper down. It is super cool. I got it at the used craft sale and I am dying to use it. So carefully sticking it down. It's got a little texture. That's okay. I'm going to use my scissors. Get rid of that. And I'm just going to rip off the edges. Like I said, this is going to be quick and easy. I uh, am short on time this week. My vacation rental has been busy. So that is good. I have people in there tonight. Tonight is um, Thursday and I just had people leave this morning. So yeah, I had to go quick clean so that I could let the next group of people in. So that adds a little bit on my to-do list. I am going to carefully, semi-carefully, cut this away because that would be a lot of waste there and I'm not going to worry about those notches right now I'll deal with that in a bit alright so I'm going to save this because well maybe there's nothing wrong with it I'll just stick it over here on the side rip this off okay so look at how quick and easy that background was, huh? Pretty cool? Very cool. Fold these under, who cares? Okay, now my thought was adding some gesso on here because it's really slippery. And I'm just going to put a coat of gesso on there. I am using a lot of older product right now because I am packing to go to a stamp camp there's going to be very limited amount of people there will be a lot of social distancing and a lot of mask wearing um, unfortunately or you know at least we're gonna do it but this has been in the works for a while and we're gonna go and if I feel uncomfortable I will come home and it's not till next week, so who knows, maybe it will be canceled by then. But if you know me, I am pretty organized, so I've already started packing my stuff up. And that's a chore all on its own, because you don't know what you're going to want to work on. So, should be fun. I went one other time, not last year, but the year before. I am going to give this a quick dry, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I did put a little more gesso on here and I did uh, dry it again so that it is a little um, more white, so a little more opaque. So I have a piece of masking paper here. I'm going to make a moon out of it. I'm just going to fold it and cut a circle. Hopefully, looks good. I'm going to stick that on there. It's going to be my moon in the sky, is what I was thinking. How about right up there? Give it a good press, and now I need a midnight sky. This is the darkest blue that I have, uh, Dutch blue, very inexpensive craft paint. And I'm hopefully going to add some black to it and make it 
dark blue. Let's see what happens. Looks dark blue to me. Now just hope I have enough. <laughs> Okay, and a brush, and here we go. We're going to hopefully cover this. This is a thought I had when I was outside the other night. The moon is so full almost full right now and i think it might be full on halloween so i was looking at the moon and i'm like oh there's my art journal inspiration for saturday hopefully hopefully it'll turn out i am going to give this a dry and probably another coat because I don't want it all streaky like that. So I have enough paint. I'm going to give it a dry and another coat and I'll be back. Here's how it looks. And we're dry. And now I think we need some stars in the sky. So I am using some white, uh, titanium white gouache. So gouache is like uh, watercolor but it's opaque so that's what I want I want the stars to be you know bright white so just mixing it with just a tiny bit of water just to make it splatter this is where my desk gets covered just going ahead and flicking my brush and now you know what's going to come next. I'm going to have to dry this. And we're going to do some stenciling. And I think it's going to be cool. Alright, so I got to dry again. That looks like enough stars. And I'll be back. Alright, so we've got a night sky with a moon. The reveal here. This is the funnest part. <laughs> Got a little bit of seepage. But it'll be fine. We'll fix it. So a little bit of my paint pulled off. But we're going to have like a halo around. And I can use my charcoal pencil to make it all circular. So I'm just going to give that just a little dry. And it can be fixed but can you see that we've got that little bit of text in the back there it's kind of cool I know you're like why'd you waste all that uh, washi tape but uh, I got a little texture and it was just what I was thinking so who knows okay so this is what I have for my tree stencils I've got Jean Petit trees number two Sean trees number three and then this great big one I'm not sure where it came from so it's not Sean's but I use it all the time so what I was thinking was a tree over that moon so I'm not 100% sure what I should do I'm just kind of thinking here should we have really tall, tall pine trees? I think these pine trees are the ticket. And they're going to have to, I think, be in black and brown kind of mixed and just go for it. So I'm going to get my archival ink out and my brushes. I got potting soil and jet black. I'm going to grab two. Probably one would do it because I'm going to mix. So this is just a dark one. Make sure it's not purple. And it wouldn't matter if it was purple. I just want it to be dark, right? 
So I'm going to go black and maybe brown over the top. So let's do some stenciling. And we'll just go for it. This is an art journal page. We're just kind of going for it. So we'll see how it turns out. I definitely want a little bit of that. Ooh, that's probably not going to work, is it? So I don't think I can get that tree black enough. Let's see. Well, let's just try it. Yeah, it looks like I might be able to. And I'll do a few, and then I will do it off camera so I'm not wasting your time. You will get the gist of it when you see the end result, right? So I'm going to go like that, and I'm actually going to make it tall by just kind of going down a bit. We'll see if that works or not. I'm not sure. That's what art is all about, trying it, seeing what happens. I'm really trying to get dark over those white stars because you wouldn't see stars through the tree, would you? Let's see what happens here when I... Down here. Because you won't be able to put the stencil back to see what we got so far oh yeah it's looking cool I'm gonna try that again just by moving the stencil and making this tree really big tall tall and skinny And then I will go to the bottom and then we'll put in more trees. And I was even thinking of some maybe geese flying in front of that moon because that's what's happening where I live right now. The geese are flying uh, south because it's getting cold here. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks cool, huh? Yay! Um, instead of smudging that, I'm going to quick give it a dry because I really like how it's looking and I don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to go and do some more trees. Ch -ch 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 down, up and down. And then at the bottom, maybe I'll put a few of these little ones. So I am going to go ahead and do that. And then we will work on that moon and the geese, a frame around the edge, maybe a sentiment. I have something that I'm thinking while I'm working on this, and we'll see if that evolves. So here we go. I'm going to dry this. I'm going to do some more trees, and we'll be back. Look at that, huh? That looks cool. So I did a little bit of the big tree on each side and you can see here it pulled some of my paint off. I don't hate it. I just am going to leave it. You know, I don't want to mess with it, but I think it's looking really cool. And I used all three of those stencils, trees two, the big stencil, the big tree one, and then trees three. So I'll link those below. So now what as I was thinking is I need just like this halo that goes around the um, moon. And I have some uh, yellow ochre. And I just put it on with my brush like this. And I swiped it with my finger. And I'm going to do that around the moon. And right now I'm not too worried about the... Um, tree branches there because I can go over those with a um, black Posca permanent marker is my thought so like I said this is you know you just gotta do what you think and I know I'm gonna go around this moon with some uh, charcoal pencil to give it a real 
dark definition. So, um, yeah, it, it's just what I'm thinking. Anybody got plans for Halloween? Yeah, Saturday. Today you'll be... This is Halloween. Can't, can't even tell that it's Halloween, can you? <laughs> it's just a weird time, isn't it? So I'm just going to go... I bought some candy today, and um, if you watch my channel at all... Um, you know that I work at a daycare. I cook for the little little people, little friends at the daycare. And tomorrow they get to go trick-or-treating. And we are supposed to dress up. And I have some cat ears and I will dress in black, which doesn't bother me at all. And I'll do just a couple whiskers or something on my face. Maybe cut the fingers off of some black mittens. And then I do have a black tail. Um, I don't know if I'll use it or not. So here I'm trying to decide if I want to go around this tree. I think not. I think, you know, that you wouldn't see it there. I'll have to look outside again tonight and see how I did after it gets dark out. But here is my moon and my shadows there. Or, not shadows, but moon beams. I did get out my geese stamp, and I think I'm going to have those geese flying through the moon there. Um, first, I'm going to give this just a little gray to dull it down just a little bit. Because I'm just feeling like I need to. If I can find some gray. Well, maybe not. Maybe I don't have any because I have packed it. And then I'm not going to. So I'll, I'll do it with my charcoal pencil. How about that? Hopefully I can find one of those. Um, projects that I'm taking with to the stamp camp would be cards, of course. I'm going to go around this. That paint wants to really rise up off of that washi tape. That's a problem. So I guess if I would do this again, I wouldn't use that washi tape. It's too slippery. So I'm barely even barely even touching on here with my pencil because I don't want to rip any more of that off. Just going to go like this. Around that edge. Whoops, see there, I did it again. So I would use maybe just a napkin or something. I'll fix it with my black pen. So pretty cool. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna get a little black paint, I think. Cause that's starting to bother me. <gasps> Ooh, that was a lot. Well and my pendant. So let's try and do a little finger painting, huh? And that's not working too wonderfully. That looks like a glob there. Just going to back it off. I'm going to give that a dry. Probably put a little bit of that yellow around. Let's try this. Because I lost my edge there. I could go over it all with my brown wash like I like to do. That would probably do the trick, wouldn't it? No, this is, that's too much paint. Yeah, so I'm kind of wrecking it here. Okay. 
All right, I'm going to give this dry, and I'm probably... I need to dull down that moon a little bit. Maybe just a little bit of just so. And how about a dry brush? If there is such a thing. This one. And a little black. Make me a gray. Your water, I think. There, now I like it. Yeah, now I like it a lot. Give you a zoom in there, and I'll blacken in all of this to make it stand out real good. That will not be a problem. I want to. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so put my cover on so I don't forget. All right, now I'm going to get my black marker. And this is just a black Sharpie. that tree back in there looks a little bold doesn't it so I'm gonna try and pick up some of that there that dulled it down just going to go up here, do the same thing, get the top of the tree back in there. Yeah, that paint really wants to come up there. I'm going to stop messing with it. Okay, sorry about that. I'm moving my headphones on you. Gonna put a little bit of a shadow underneath here because there is that black with the yellow. Cool. I like it. Okay. I'm getting this black paint all over everything. I know I'd usually use this on a art journal page, but tonight I'm just going for speed. If you can't tell, I am going to get something squishy underneath here. Uh, I already put away my, packed my cushion thing. I'm going to do those geese flying. And hopefully this will be cool. One of those stamps I've never used before. But I've had in my stash for a long time. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to put them down. Don't put them upside down. That would be bad. Just like this. I'm really pushing. Really, really pushing. And hopefully that paint won't come up. That would be bad. Let's see. Oh, dear. And then I got a little thing here. Little mark. Where is my towel? Rubbing that away. Cool. Look at that. I'm just going to dirty my finger up a little bit here. And go back over that. So cool. Yeah. Flying through the moon there. And you know what I'm going to do next? Of course, i got a mess going on here. I'm going to blacken that edge. And you know how I love that because it just makes everything come together. And I know it will on this piece because there's so much black going on. And now I'm thinking about a sentiment. Should I or shouldn't I? If I did, it would definitely have to be white. And I'm just going to go on the inside of where I need to cut those things off. Cut that tissue off. Turn it upside up. Whoa. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I'm going to go... Gosh, I, I'm going to go through here with my black Posca paint pen and just join those trees. I'm going to give it a dry first, and I will be back. All right, so I used this black paint pen, and it's by Jane Davenport, um, and it's got a nib like that, and I just barely touched up a little bit in here to, to connect those tree limbs, and it was starting to pull the paint, so I stopped. It, it looks just great, I think. And I decided I am going to do a sentiment that I was thinking of. I was thinking of this Sean Petit um, stencil, and it is Make-A-Wish Dandelion, and you can see how cool it is. And what I was thinking was this Make-A-Wish down here on the bottom, and it'll counteract with the white that's here, so it kind of gives it a visual triangle. That's what I'm hoping. I am going to just eyeball it and hope I don't get it crooked. I'm going to use that white gouache that we used before because it needs to be very white. And I'm just using a makeup sponge and going through and being very careful that I am not moving this stencil now because we'd have problems. <laughs> And I'm almost done, and I don't want to have problems. I am just going to um, let this kind of dry a little bit. I don't want to go like this because I might melt that stencil, and that would be bad. But I'm just kind of trying to give it a couple of layers without moving that stencil so that it's really, really white. And then I'm going to get my white paint pen, and I'm going to connect those letters. And we are going to call this good. And I think that we should all look up at the moon tonight and see what we see. If I was even close with my vision, voila, make a wish. Doesn't look too crooked. Good enough for me. I'm going to give that a dry, and I'm going to use my white paint pen. 
and I have another one by Jane Davenport so I'm going to dig that out because I'm really liking how this is working. I'm going to give it a quick dry so I don't smudge it. I'm going to fill in those letters. Make sure I'm working. See right here? I don't like how that is open like that. I don't know. just bothers me. So I am connecting the letters without rubbing too hard because this is fragile with that washi tape underneath. I don't want to mess it up now. I'm almost done, right? I'm just like pouncing it on there. Forgot my A. Yeah, I like it better like that when it's all connected. All right, I know that was a fast one, but I like how it turned out. What do you think? Leave comments, please. Subscribe if you haven't. I would love to have you. And I'll be back on Tuesday. I have nothing up my sleeve yet, but you know, it's Halloween. Things could happen. All right, you have a great Halloween. Do some social distancing and eat a bunch of candy. I don't know. That's all I can tell you. All right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.